the uh, project area when we first acquired it from uh, Resolute or Abbey Bow, which was the predecessor company, was in the order of about 52,000 hectares. What we've done since that time, or after the initial acquisition, is we've acquired an additional 29,000 hectares, which include uh, claims in Mahaffey Township, McDermott Township, and of course the claims that we staked up in uh, Bradford and Calder Townships. Now, what this indicates to us is by, by the studies that we've done and the historical co compilations that we've carried out, is that we've got at least nine of these potential large nickel cobalt uh, target areas that we would option and joint venture out. We've got six VMS target areas that would option and joint venture out and at least another three or four gold trends in addition to the uh, Lucas Gold deposit that we have. The one thing that attracted us to this project area was that one, it was very, very large. It was very underexplored, certainly in the north. Its location was only two, three kilometers north of the Kid Creek mine, or at least the southern boundary. And the Kid Creek is a massive mine. It's been in production for now 60 plus years. It's produced about 160 million tons of good grade base metal. And a VMS mega deposit such as it is, is normally associated with other satellite deposits. And one of the reasons that this total project area is as underexplored as it is, is largely due to the fact that there's very little to no outcropping anywhere and there's overburden coverage over the extent of the property area. In Kingsmill Township, we were first attracted to the Project 81 as a result of a drill hole that, was, that came back from Inco that was drilled in 1960 with a 1,265 foot intersection of 0.3 nickel. You gotta remember that in 1960, nickel prices were sub a dollar and you're looking at something that was obviously uh, not economic at that time. Uh, now that we've been able to analyze, and it was never at that time analyzed for cobalt, now that we've analyzed it for both nickel and cobalt, the drilling that took place in January of 2012 identified a structure which is about two and a half kilometers in strike length, 500 meters in width, and about 500 meters in depth, grading in the order of about 0.25 nickel and about 140 parts per million uh, cobalt. In Bradburn Township also, there's a faulted off, or what appears to us to be a faulted off uh, zone that appears very, very close to the geology and the structure that is related to the Kingsmill uh, nickel cobalt uh, discovery. Calder Township is a uh, township that we staked together with Bradburn and the uh, point of Calder is that there's been very little to no work carried out in uh, Calder Township. We did fly an airborne geophysic EM mag survey over Calder and Bradburn Townships this past year We've got the results back on it. It looks like there's some very intriguing uh, prospects that we should be going after. It will be a winter drilling program. Aubin and Dargerville Townships, which sit north of uh, Crawford, host a, uh, a, a trend that is drilled back on the 1960s. It was a uh, gold trend. Uh, there are gold results on it. Uh, we're just in the process of compiling all of the data on that, and we should be looking for a partner to come in with respect to taking the next round of exploration out on it. There are also a couple of nickel targets in Dargerville Township as well. The other project that we've carried out work on is the Lucas Gold Project, where we've identified that about a 1,700 meter uh, strike length on one zone, of which it's only about 650 meters has been drilled off. There are a, an additional five, six parallel zones which are going to need to be drilled. Uh, the grades on that are running anywhere from three, four grams and probably over lengths that are anywhere from 30 to 40 uh, meters. We're here at uh, drill location Crawford 1908, which has just completed at uh, 606 meters. Currently all the core has been shipped to the uh, core shack where it's being split logged and uh, off for uh, assaying. We expect to be seeing results back in the very near term that uh, indicate a very large tonnage uh, potential nickel cobalt PGE uh, deposit. And we're in the process right now of consolidating a 100% interest in the Crawford nickel target, your nickel cobalt target, into Canada nickel, forming Canada nickel. And we're very, very hopeful bringing in the new management with Mark Selby and, the, and his team that we're going to see 
this project moved down the road. Our goal over the next 36 months is to have something in the order of eight, maybe 10 um, project participants or option and joint venture partners and with an object of anywhere from 15 to 20 million dollars in the next round of uh, drilling exploration carried out over the project area.